All right, guys, well, I'm back today with one of the most versatile bulletproof armor solutions I've ever seen. I look goofy, but you can see this huge level 3A bulletproof panel that stops most handgun rounds. Why I'm saying it's incredibly versatile is because they designed this to be used for a number of different things. One of the first things and how I found this was figuring out how to bulletproof a car. This actually is also designed to go on the back of a seat of a car with all of the included straps right here. So that's what we're going to be testing today. This also is designed to be put behind an office chair used as a bulletproof shield or cover. This can be used for a wide variety of things and the list is endless on their website. It feels very nice. Again, it's 30 and a half inches tall. It does have sort of shooters cut built in or cuts right here for your headrest. So it blends a little bit more into your seat, whether you be sitting in an office or inside a car. And then it's gonna be about 21 inches wide. Also, it only weighs about seven pounds, so it's surprisingly light for the amount of coverage. This would also work great to hang on a door of maybe a safe room, like a solid wood door where it'd be tough for somebody to get in, and then this would bulletproof the other side. You could potentially get two of them and hang them back to back. The other cool thing about this is, even though it's incredibly versatile, unique, and very well put together, it only comes in at about $379, making it incredibly affordable for what this is. I am really glad to get this out to the channel. I reached out to Bullet Safe and they sent me two of them. One I'm gonna be trying in a wide variety of scenarios, and one we're gonna be testing out today to see what it can stop inside this car. But enough talking about all the specs and features, let's try it out and see what it can stop. So in a matter of seconds, with just two straps, we installed it. I didn't take the time and care to properly secure it 100% the way I would if I was gonna permanently leave it in my car because we're gonna take this right back off. But you can really fine tune the straps. You can see how much coverage it gives you inside a vehicle. This is incredibly impressive. And again, very unique for the market. This would also work great on the back of an office chair, something like that. You can see how easily it straps to the seat and how versatile it is. Enough to and we're gonna put some rounds through the car on the opposing seat and then we'll try this guy and see how it functions. So if you've been following the channel, you'll know we've been doing testing with this car, including some testing where we shoot through the doors and we noticed really quickly that the doors are not gonna protect you from rounds and you can shoot through the doors. I wanna give a huge shout out to Alpha Shooting Sports for getting this car out to the channel so we can try this test. I'm really excited that we do have this car to really see the potential of a lot of different things in testing with the cars. Alpha Shooting Sports makes a wide variety of AR-15 upper assemblies, AR-9 upper assemblies and Glock slides. Let's shoot this thing, and I'm gonna approach this from a position of being very vulnerable. You're not gonna be able to see someone coming from behind you. So we're gonna do that, creep up, fire some shots at the seat, then we'll do that on the other side. So I purposely put one just through the seat and then one through the door panel. It looks like the one through the door panel actually got swallowed up by the door at an angle. It must have hit enough stuff. But the one went through the seat, came right out, no problem. And then looks like either embedded into the dash or went through the glass, but you can see it came through the seat. Now let's check the other side. So now for the bullet safe side. Again, I put one through the door. It looks like it, we broke the door handle off. The mechanism still works. And then we put one directly into the shield right here. So let's check the front. And absolutely nothing. It stopped it 100%. So you guys can see how well that panel did. So the next test we're gonna do is put a lot of rounds at that panel, simulating somebody attacking you inside your vehicle. We'll see what it can stop. So we have multiple impacts and shards and fragmentation all over this piece. And then when you look at the front of the seat, absolutely nothing has gone through. You're still well protected inside that driver's seat. So the next test I'm gonna do is actually rattle off rounds directly into the panel itself to see how well it holds onto that seat after multiple rounds.
All right, guys, so we completely peppered it, even through the straps, and it held on great. It held its form very nicely, which is what I would like to see, but I missed the ballistic panel right here, so it did just go through the seat. It didn't actually hit anything in here, so we'll see what it did on the other side. And it looks like only one round made it through where we missed at that extreme angle. So it looks like it punched in from over here and it came out right there. So that goes to show you that the ballistic armor held up great, but when you miss the ballistic armor, it is going right through that seat. Now for a more direct approach, I'm gonna definitely target just the kind of center of mass and rattle off some more shots. Then we'll step it up to a higher caliber. You could also reverse hang this on the other side of the door if you wanted to protect a passenger. Kind of the same concept. There's a million different things you can do with this panel. So out of all of those shots, we actually hit about two to three right in the exact same spot. And one did punch through when we hit three in the same spot. This one looked like it went through, but in reality, it did not. It actually caught the bullet. I can feel it right there. And you can see there's no hole in the door when it was hanging down here. It just dented the door. So this one had been hit about two or three times in the same spot and only one punch through, but this one has been doing great so far. I'm gonna hit it in a fresh spot back in its carrier with the 357 Magnum and see how it does. Now for 357 Magnum out of this Colt Lawman. Here's our hit, here's our hit, and when we flip it over, nothing went through, it absolutely stopped the 357 Magnum. You can see the Velcro straps did come off, these smaller Velcro straps. That was a pretty hard hit to be held on with just one of these straps, but that's also something to consider. Maybe fortifying it a little bit more with thicker straps would do the trick, we'll try that next. three or actually four 357 Magnum hits right here on the bottom and absolutely nothing went through stopped it hundred percent and that is a pretty powerful cartridge now we're gonna hit it some more So we peppered this whole bottom and we actually did another worst case scenario. I put another 357 Magnum on top of a 357 Magnum and it stopped it guys. Nothing went through. Again, this one was not a penetration and this one was the only one that actually made it through. And that right here, you guys can see are two rounds stacked on top of each other with a third round right there. So one of those made it through. And, and you can see a lot of times, so there's two right next to each other right here. There's gonna be those two 357 Magnums. It looks like if two hit close together, you're gonna be fine. But those three is the only thing that made it out of all of these holes. I mean, this thing is riddled with bullets and it is still holding together great. I am incredibly impressed. And I'm actually really glad I shot two 357 Magnums right next to each other and it didn't go through. That just shows the durability of this plate. So again, these guys have a ton of backpack panels, different soft armor plate carriers, but this is one of the coolest things I've seen in a long time, the Bullet Safe Protecto panel. Again, they come out about 379. I will leave the link and information to this guy in the description below. I can highly recommend it. I mean, this thing took a beating and again, only that single one made it through when they were three stacked on top of each other. Thanks for watching guys. Have a good one.